the ball. Okay, can you tell me what I'm eating before I dive in? I, I, I need to know what's on my plate. It's plated beautifully. That's um urban bourbon chicken. Urban bourbon chicken. Who came up with that name? Moi. Moi. Just because I'm French today. Moi. Right. Take a taste. Take but you taste. didn't tell me what's in it first. Well, you gotta taste it and you let I'm gonna let you tell me. Okay, here I go. Now is the best are bite. You a, are you a stir? Do you stir all your food? I up? stir. I need. A, stir I need the whole bite. I need to be. No, I, to like just I need to. Dig it, no, dig no, in no, no, no. I need to be in all the taste. I need to have everything all the way. There I go. Huh? 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 Okay. Is it good first off? It is good. There is a lot of flavor in this. I'm very excited about it. It's an, it's an exciting dish. I'm going to eat it all. You should. I'm just going to let you know. As you should. As you should. Here's what I like about it. Let me take one more breath. Hold on. Go, go. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the only interview you'll ever do that you can eat food while you do the interview. Everybody else is going to tell you, hey, put the food down and anything and don't chew with your mouth uh, full. Oh. You can chew with your mouth full here. <laughs> oh, you, you mean you I can, can talk, talk with, with my mouth full? Mouth. Got yeah, it. That, that. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I love about it. The flavor is very round, which means as soon as it hits your tongue, it goes all the way around, even to the last bite. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's there in the beginning, and it's there at the end. Okay. There's a little kick to it, and you know I love spicy. Um, it's smoky. Smoky. I'm into the smoky because it's not it's not a smoky that hits you with the first bite. Mm -hmm. It's a smoky that grows and it's it's like an aftertaste. Okay, it must be the curry or the or the turmeric. I do absolutely, I do absolutely taste the curry, curry. and I smell it too. Yeah, turmeric. Turmeric. Turmeric is good for you. Turmeric is really good. There's a lot of health benefits to it. Yeah, definitely. The Indians live long because they eat curry and turmeric. They don't get like a heart disease the way we do over here in America. First of all, I didn't we know need that. to figure out how to get their hair to grow that long. Mm -hmm. So tell me what, um, Miss Miss Be By the way, just to let them know who you are, they think this is a DJ. Hey, um, everyone. The uh, the founder of Better. You must excuse me because. Do what you do. Mm -hmm. Better Butter, the founder, mm -hmm. creator. Okay, so here we go. Tell us about Better that. is the name of the company. Mm -hmm. And we have different collections, and our first collection is Better Butter. Mm -hmm. And Better came about, there was myself, a good friend of mine, Andre Wise, at Andre Wise on Instagram, and my best friend, Danielle Alario on Instagram. We were sitting at the breakfast table on New Year's Day. And we were discussing the fact that I wanted to start a body butter line. And I didn't know where I was going with this because body but the body butter situation came to me during Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I work in a salon and I have a lot of females that are in my vicinity always. So I'm saying to myself, okay, how can I show customer appreciation? How can I show appreciation to my coworkers? Blah, blah, blah. I don't got all of that money to spend on y'all. So let me see what's going to be cost effective for my pocket. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what am I going to do? I was like, you know what? I'm going to make body butter. Let me watch a couple of YouTube videos. I'll read up on some essential oils and we're going to do it in the kitchen. That's how you did it? You serious? Yes. I thought of doing body butter for gifts for Christmas, and I gave them away, mm -hmm. had names on them. Everybody got their own little body butter. I put them in little cute little mason jars, and they had a cute little sticker hope, on it. I so hope cute. people didn't use them because this this is gonna be a like this is gonna be like a souvenir one day. I know, right? It's, it's, it's like my, my first collection. First collection. So I give it to them, and one of the girls, um, she, her name is Jules, and she has eczema, and she's allergic to everything. Mm -hmm. And I gave her one, mm -hmm. and she told me that she had a um, a reaction to color. Mm -hmm. And then when she got home that night, she put her better butter on, mm -hmm. and she was like, almost instantly did the itching go away, but the redness and the swelling went down overnight. So I was like, oh, word, so I'm making something and it's healing people now? Oh, hi, let me go ahead and get in this lab and let me figure it out. So 
we, us three, Dre, Danielle, are sitting at the um, at the table, and I'm like, yo, so, I so think I want to. Any of you have any background in like chemistry? Any? Oh uh, no. Oh wow. Go ahead. No, it's just you just read it. You better. just read some books and was like, I can do that. Why that's, not? That's Went down to Whole Foods. Okay. Uh -huh. Went down to Whole Foods, got all the ingredients, and I did it. And better butter came. Now the name came from Danielle Hilario um, because I wanted to call it something else originally. Mm -hmm. I wanted to call it, I wanted to call it Enchantment. Enchantment. And this again was around the time of the self-discovery thing that happened and mm -hmm. I was just not focused on the outside. I was just focused on her right here. Mm -hmm. And I realized that that name would not work for many different reasons, but. A guy wouldn't use Enchantment. That's exactly what Danielle said. Yeah. That is exactly what Danielle uh, said. So she was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you what I think about enchantment. Mind you, this is what happened. So I said the name, and then she, because we're eating breakfast, and I said the name, and she goes, and I was like, oh. So what, mind you, like I'm that. sitting, anyway, never mind, hold up. Let me bring it back, because I was about to say too much. Anyway. So I see her face and I'm like, um, so you want to explain that or not? Like mm -hmm. you can swallow, but I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's the face for? She was like, first of all, I think that's stupid. Mm -hmm. She was like, um, I think it's childish. I like Danielle no, right now. I like her. Just like y'all, y'all need you to get a friend like Danielle Lario. Shouts mm -hmm. to her. She keeps me. She's my baby girl. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, damn. I love her. Um, so. She's like, listen, that shit sounds um, way childish. It doesn't even sound like you. And I know that you feel magical when you're making this shit, but that's not what it is. I'm just going to tell you right now. Mm -hmm. When I hear Enchantment, she, she goes, I'm a rough chick. You know what I'm saying? I'm rough. So, like, I'm looking at Enchantment I'm like, what? That's going to be fucking princesses and it's going to smell like cotton candy. I don't want nothing to do with it. So I'm like, fuck, okay. Fine. Like it's her. not fucking like Enchantment. <laughs> she goes, I, and then she kept saying, I know that I know that you're being creative and I know that you can bring something better. Mm -hmm. I know that you can think of something better. Mm -hmm. She kept saying better, better, better. And I'm like, what about just butter? So all of us are back and forth, back and forth. Me, her, Dre, back and forth, back and forth. And then I missed it somehow, but I thought we came to the agreement of calling it better butter. Better butter. Right? So they're like, no, 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 it's just better. Because then you can branch off and do better butter, better buff, better chong, better beards, all that. So that's how better came along. I said it was going to be enchantment and they shut me the fuck down. I was like, no, that's not it. Sorry. Taste your food. You might make me think that you don't yeah, like it. Right. No, I love it. But you know, I can't talk and eat at the but same time. But you can not talk and eat at the same time here. You can. You I really forgot that that's what this yeah, was. It's all about that. Uh, yeah, this cake know. in here is fucking banging. It's great. Yeah. Okay, so, geez, man, listen, I had a bunch of questions that actually and it seems like you answer them anymore. So, if you wanted to marry, like, you know, a lot of people, they come out with, like, a, a product line, and they try to marry it with some celebrity or whatever like that. Who would you marry better, butter, or better with? Does it have to be a celebrity? No. I would marry better with me and my tribe. Who's your tribe? Oh. It's not a it's not a very long list, but it's a very important list. Mm -hmm. and when you I say tribe, just, do you mean like a bunch of people who look like you, or is it mm -mm. like okay? I mean my I mean tribe as in my my network of community. Who do I want better mm -hmm. to represent? Mm -hmm. I want better to represent like the people like you and me. Mm -hmm. I want better to represent somebody who is like who works hard and knows the value of self-care okay. and they look at them if they look at their better butter or they look at their better bomb and they're like that's better you know what i'm saying yeah, they take training. that you've been media trained no you take any classes on media training I... why do you answer questions like that what do you mean like you, you answer questions like like you're selling you're selling shit out of that but it's good. I mean, I like it. <laughs> like, cause now I got. I wanna Wait, does it feel like super rehearsed? Cause I'm being no. super I'm authentic. Do you have commercials? Do you have any commercials? With no, but I have a very beautiful shoot, visual I for can better. Shoot, I can shoot some commercials for you if you want. Let's me. talk about it. <laughs> hey, what does Danielle look like? Danielle is fire. What does she look like? Does She's, she look like you? Mm -mm. Anything like you? Mm -mm. Tell me what. what <laughs> give me, give me an idea of what Danielle looks like. 
Danielle. Just the, just the, 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 just give me like an outside show of Danielle. Is she your complexion? No. What's her complexion? She's white. She's white. So is she's better, olive skin. Is it better for Danielle as well? Better is for everyone. She's part of your tribe. She's part of my tribe, yeah. That's my point right there. So what? so better is for everybody, not better just for, for everyone. not just for the you and the me's, but for Danielle too. You and the me's as in, you meant like mm -hmm. you were taking that as in black folks. Right. I meant as in you and me as the person who has the hustler mentality. Okay. The person who goes out and gets what they want. Mm -hmm. It's not for mm -hmm. any specific somebody. Okay. It's for everybody. Okay. And I'm saying that I, because my tribe is so diverse, that's what I want better to be for. I want better to be for the person who, like I said, works hard and understands the value of self-care mm -hmm. and knows that they could look to something and be like, Shh, that's better. That's what's up. You know what I mean? And when we came, when, when I realized what I wanted it to be mm -hmm. was... You know, my Danielle was talking about how um, how my mom was such a huge, huge part of who I am because she was a nurse and she liked to take care of people. Mm -hmm. Or that was exactly what she was made of was she was a person who took care of people. Mm -hmm. And when you feel that that's better feeling, like you feel taken care of. Right. I am bringing up and an extension, passing an on my mom's legacy of keeping people feeling better in what I do. That's what's up. So. That's dope. That's dope. Better. That's even dope. Because everybody wants to feel better. Everybody wants to feel better. Right? Whether, everybody wants to feel tummy whether, filled with this shit. Exactly. So. Feel, better from, <laughs> feel better from eating or feel better from with your skin. Okay. Hello? So what do you guys, so right now you have, um, you have like a, like a, a lotion or skincare type of thing. And then, mm -hmm. Um, what else you have so far? So, our first collection is the Better Better. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to release a bunch of different ones. Mm -hmm. Everything has a BB. Okay. So we have Better Butter, mm -hmm. Better Bomb, which is going to be lip balms. Okay. Um, better Buffs, which is going to be scrubs. Okay. And Better Beards. Beard which are going to be beard oils. Wow. Hmm? And BB shimmers coming this summer What's for the ladies <laughs> for that sunskist shit. So this is going to be your better butter collection, mm -hmm. but each one will have a shimmer. We're doing light, medium, and brown. And for that sunkissed glow during those you know sundress days, rompers. I like sundresses. I love sundresses. We all and rompers. love rompers. Rompers and, and sundresses. sundresses. For the win. For the win. No, for my, the win. For my, my exact sentiments. For the win. For the win. <laughs> win. <laughs> w I N D. For me, I like to win the blow. When the sundress and the wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. Imagine her with some BB shimmer. Yeah, with some. BB and that shimmer. wind gently did picks really, up. Did that. you really just BB shimmer me? Just <laughs> like, did you really just hit me? BB shimmer. BB shimmer in wow, a sundress. You, you see okay. what I mean by uh, you planned all this. You planned all this. Listen, I'm just Incredible. good. Incredible. I'm a natural baby. So where can people find us at right now? Um, right now, you can go to Better. That's Better on Instagram. And we are taking direct orders. Um, we are working on our website. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned for that. So that's better, that's better. Yes. So better, B-E-T-T-R dot. dot, that's better, B-E-T-T-R. On Instagram. On Instagram. Hell yeah. I'm getting better. I'm getting me some of this. That's better. Can I get this? Can I get yes. one of these? Oh! Let me introduce you to our better flavors. We have better mango, which is our top seller. Why don't you take a swift of that? I'll eat this. Put yes. This, I'll put this right on the Doesn't it? And it looks like icing. It does. It looks like icing. I'm going to put this right my favorite. Right yeah, that's right. Better mango, best seller. And, and you know what's crazy? Before I started actually producing, in production of the Better Butters, mm -hmm. I were, like people were asking me how many um, scents I had and I was trying to tell, I have five. Mm -hmm. So there's um, mango, patchouli, patchouli, jasmine, rose, and jasmine here. 
um, and lavender vanilla, but we're currently sold out lavender vanilla. That's why I couldn't bring it. I'm sorry, everyone. But no, it's that thing. Uh, no, that, that's why you sold that. And it's the only one who has cocoa butter. Because every, every um, scent has a different um, formula. Mm -hmm. Jasmine is our lightest formula because she is made with shea butter, je uh, or organic coconut oil, almond oil, apricot oil, and vitamin E oil. And she has the lightest scent. So if you are the person who loves to wear perfume mm -hmm. and colognes and things, and you like to be all moisturized, you don't have to worry about Jasmine competing with your scents. Right. So she's one. So, um, so if they go to your to the Instagram, they can actually purchase. They can um, they reach can out from there and purchase mm -hmm. through there. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Tell me what flavors you want in a DM. Um, yeah, okay. pricing upon request. That's still, that's cool. Hey man, I'm proud of you. Stop! Don't make proud. me cry. You know I'm emotional. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm serious. Go proud. ahead, bye. Listen, tell I'll, I'll be honest. With you. I'll be honest. With you. <laughs> I I. I'm gonna, um, the idea and, and the premise of this show um, is first and foremost, before I start reaching out to people like um, outside of the cert my circle, my inter um, immediate circle, I wanna reach to people who's inside of my circle who I've noticed do great things over the past years or whatever um, and give them some, and shed some light on that. Your community. You know what I mean? Um, like your tribe, the same your thing. Tribe, your, your tribe, your community, same thing. I mean, because I, I, got, I know a lot of people who did some good things over the years, and you know, and I like to give them props and you know, let them know that they did a great thing, or whatever. And I saw you doing the, the better part of thing, and I was like, yeah, you know what? That's dope. That's dope. You know, because it's like, like, uh, like we had a conversation, and we said that right now is the time that anybody can become somebody easily. You know what I mean? Like you can, you, you can't can, you cry can get broke right you now. Can't cry broke. I'm sorry. You can get rich. Easy. I'm sorry. You can't. And you know? put it behind something that you're passionate about. Yep. That should even set a little more fire to your ass. My best friend is always saying we are given in this world with thumbs. That means we are made to manipulate. Do that shit. Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting around looking dumb? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought you were gonna say we should text. No, oh. I mean that too, but like not the, you know, <laughs> go out and do something, create, we're made to do it, why Definitely. not? Definitely. Do it shit. Definitely. Hey man, um, like I said, I had a whole list of questions I wanted to ask, um, but you answered them shit. So let me ask you a few questions, Rodney. Well, damn, we'll go ask me something. <laughs> what, what is the reason, Ooh. sorry, I'm not trying to kill him, I swear. <laughs> That's the shank part. <laughs> <laughs> what developed this relationship with food? Um, honestly, um, damn, no, this is crazy because this is crazy. I didn't think I was gonna get to this, but um, for somebody asking me questions, mm -hmm. but I, you know, we eat food. We're, we're humans. We like to eat. We gotta, we gotta stay alive. Yeah. But Sustenance. um, but um, you know. I um I was in prison, and we had to come. Yo, up with big ups to you, cause prison is not for everybody. Prison ain't for everybody. Prison wasn't First for you. First of all, fuck that shit. <laughs> prison wasn't for me. Prison wasn't for me. No thanks. But I had to find my way. You know what I mean? I had to find um a way to get through it. I had to find a way to survive. And um, the number one way to survive, well, it's number two way to survive. Um, first you gotta, you know, you gotta, um, you gotta stay safe. You gotta find mm -hmm. your way to stay safe, whether it be mm -hmm. fighting or whether it be to hide. Um, I wasn't gonna be a person who hid, and I do need to eat, so that's the second way. But shout out to the one who do, because that's not an easy decision to make either. Yeah, yeah if, if you can hide, then hide your ass off. <laughs> be the best. There's a lot of hide places. Be the best. But um, with, with, but they would give us slop in the um, mess hall and. I didn't like the slop. The food was gross. Food was trash. Tell me. And I, I had a lot of friends who worked inside of the mess hall who um, who they, they took pride in what they made. And it was more so like you, know, you stir in a big pot. Or mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, it's certain, some days we had like baked chicken or fried fish or whatever like that. It's like you're not really putting a lot of, they thought they were putting a lot of love into it. But I would say, hey listen, if I can get somebody to can bring me back some raw chicken to the unit, and, they, and and I can season it up myself, and I cook everything in the microwave. Everything is in the microwave. 
everything Ow. got cooked in the microwave. So anything Talent. you see, anything, anything that you see in this cookbook right here, right, was, was in, a in a microwave. In a microwave, and um, aside from the hooch, because there's a chapter <laughs> on hooch, but um, I cooked everything in a microwave, and I was like, you know what? It's not a matter of not having the ingredients; it's just a matter of how it's cooked. So everybody can have the same ingredients as I do in my refrigerator, but if you don't know what to do with it, then you know what good is the food. So I decided to come up with this cookbook, and I said, you know what? We all use a fork, we all use a um, you know a spoon to eat with and anything. But you know what? Not you know, everybody. Use a shank, and, yeah. and the shank is what got me through it. So yeah. I was like, the shank is a representation of where I come from, and the fork and spoon is the food. So that's why I named the fork, spoon, and shank. So I was trying to get a little crazy. You know, so I put a little, I put a bunch of stories in there. I how, mean, just as much you know, as important as a spoon and the fork is, the shank is really the connection, connection. to the food yeah. and so your. I decided experience. to put some stories in there and um about um what happened and how I obtained the ingredients. So it was like it wasn't just a um I said I need a onion, pepper, and tomato. Yeah. It was like. So it was really like in Goodfellas when he was like, you know, oh, they live like this, whatever. Oh, but with us, we had our own quarters and they was bringing in meats and he was slicing up the garlic real, real thin where yes, it liquefied in the pan. If I told you how I, how I sliced garlic, you would cry. You would be like, are you serious? Do you use a razor? Because no. he used a razor. No. Like, you know what I used to slice my garlic with? I took a can top, a tuna fish can top. And I would sharpen it in between the grout on the um and the tiles in the bathroom to make it really sharp. And I would slice my garlic. No fucking with a can, with a um, tuna fish can. Top. Tuna fish can top. Yeah, yeah. And I used it all the time. So I was like, hey, get the can top, get the knife. As the finest yeah, knife. The finest knife. Yeah. A chef's knife. Yeah, chef's knife. That's what you slice. I can't. Yep. Yeah. So when you don't have a knife, you got a tuna, and it doubles as a shank, because you know, um, not so much like a, a stabbing shank, but a shank that you can. Can I ask you a question? So earlier, we were talking about the movie OG. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what, if there is any, a scene in that movie that resonated to you the most and why? The movie OG on HBO, um, that was produced by uh, uh, Biggs Burke. Colin yeah. Biggs Burke, who was down with Rockefeller. I watched um, that twice great already. Movie, great movie. Um, Jeffrey Wright was the uh, star in that movie. Um, there was a lot of parts of that movie that resonated um, well with me. Um, the, him going home and getting close to his, his release date. I remember that. I remember that so well because you don't want to really make a big deal of it. Um, because when people, they know you're going home, they get jealous. And they're like, hey, we, let's find a way to keep you here. Right. Yeah. You know, why check should, on 25 yeah, why, to Why should shit. you go home? Yeah. yeah. It's that type of thing. Um, yeah. Aside from that, um, um, you always see somebody who's coming into the system and you're on your way out and you're like this, yo, I hope you don't go through the perils and you deal with things that I dealt with. So let me try to give you some game. Let me school you so yeah. that you don't have, because I'm going to be gone. Make and, sure you get your pen and paper. Yeah, and you try to tell them and it's like they don't get it because the new generation, they, they're not they're not coming they're to prison. Proud of being yeah, they're, there. they're proud of being there. They're You're proud not proud of, of being it. You're like this. Yeah. Yeah. You, I wasn't proud of the day I set foot in um, prison. Mm -hmm. I was I was never proud. I was mm -hmm. just like this, damn, I'm gonna get out of here. These guys, they come in and they think like, yo, I'm proud and I maybe I wanna make a rap a, a, a CD when I get out. I'm mm -hmm. gonna rap when I get out. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a badge of honor. Mm -hmm. Um and so you try to tell them things like that, like, you know. Listen, you gotta watch yourself. You gotta stay away from this and stay away from that. And you hope and you cross your fingers that they make it out. Because, you know, when you get out, you start seeing that there's less and less people coming out and more and more people who do come out returning back in. Back you know what I mean? So, you know, um, when I watched that movie, um, it, it hit home a lot. A lot of that movie hit home. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was like small, you know, small situations or anything, whether it was like the whole movie itself. You know? Um, he did a good job with that movie. Oh. Going on, he did a great job. Yo, the you know. symbolism mm -hmm. and the... I felt the anxiety he felt. Mm -hmm. And through all of the scenarios. Meaning like when he first met... Um, what did they call him? Bleaker? The, the one with the dreads? Anyway. Mm -hmm. he When he first met him, I felt his anxiety there. 
I felt his anxiety when he was going back and forth of what he was going, the decision he was going to make, whether or not he was going to get that gun or not. Oh, okay. Don't tell the movie. Don't tell it. Just kidding! Make, make I'm watch sorry. It. Make <laughs> watch it. See, make I talked too much. Make him watch it. Yeah, yeah, make him watch it. Yeah, great movie. But anyway, amazing, amazing, amazing film. Great movie. Um, great movie. It gives you a perspective that you don't realize is very important to um, keep in mind when dealing with someone who has been in the system, mm -hmm. especially for that long. Definitely, definitely. Especially for that long. Yeah, it'll definitely get you. It'll definitely get you. Yeah. Hey, I but, appreciate um, you. Of course. Um, get involved with uh, better. Yes, that's right. Whether it be the butter, whether it be the beard, or just get involved. With just it. get involved. Please. Go to um Instagram. I just want you guys to feel better. Everybody wants to feel better. Go to that's Instagram. Be, Instagram. Be, be, say it. You say it. I don't want to mess it up. Our Instagram handle is B E T T R dot that's better. B E T T R. Fucks with us. Um, what is I deal stuff? with love, and you'll love it. I promise. Yes, the bestseller. Hey, cheers to you, girl. She, cheers to me. <laughs> Just so you know it's good. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, man. First episode. DJ. Nice to meet ya. The um, please tell me the name of this dish again. That's um, urban bourbon chicken. Urban bourbon chicken. Um, as you can see, it's completely gone. It was disgusting. You wish. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs>